Hey guys, I wanted to do another soap making video today. I've been experimenting lately with salt scrub bars and I wanted to make another one today. I am um, kind of in between on my packaging right now, so um, I'm not making a bunch of soap to sell because I'm kind of changing everything up a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm kind of experimenting on my own and seeing what I like and what I don't like. So I recently made these salt scrub bars um, with which have uh, rose clay and pink Himalayan salt. They're amazing bars. I really, really like them. Um, except they're a little bit hard to, to get just right. You can see they kind of gelled in the middle, um, didn't gel on the top, and then it's really tricky to figure out when to cut them. Um, they get really hard really quick as most coconut uh, oil bars do. Um, but these, I think, waited a little too long. They're kind of crumbly. Just around the edges, um, once you get them wet and use them, they're fantastic. Um, I also don't like the color very much. I thought the, the rose clay and the pink Himalayan salt would be cool, but they're a little bit of an unpleasant kind of pinkish skin tone. I don't know. So I'm going to try again today. I'm going to make a new bar, uh, some different ingredients, and see what happens. I thought I would show you guys. I'm also going to try to... Um, do hot process this time just to see how it goes. I love these bars. We'll be using them at home even though they don't look so beautiful. Um, but I need to continue my experimentation so I can get a great bar um, to start selling to you guys. And maybe today's bar will be the one. The first thing I've done is um, put my coconut oil into this tiny little crock pot that I have. I use this only for soap and it's a pretty small crock pot you can see. So it's really only for small batches. Um, I'm not typically, uh, I don't usually make very many hot process soaps, so I haven't invested in a bigger crock pot since I usually just do little experimental batches. Anyway, coconut oil, and this is going to be 100% coconut oil. We'll let that warm up while I mix up my lime mixture. Okay, so as you can see, my coconut oil is melted, um, my lye is mixed. Uh, I, in, for this recipe, I've mixed the lye with aloe rather than water. Um, I like doing that with my soaps. Um, we'll try it this time. Typically for my all coconut bars, I mix it with coconut water or even sometimes with coconut milk. But these bars get so hard as it is, I don't wanna mess with the coconut milk craziness, so. Just add the lime mixture. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty thick. My stick blender is starting to warm up, which tells me it's working pretty hard to mix everything together. So I'm gonna put the lid on this and let it cook. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see how it looks. We'll give it a stir here. It's very kind of soupy on the outsides and more solid in the middle. We'll give this a little blend and then let it continue to do its thing. Okay. We'll put the lid back on this and check on it in another 15 minutes or so. Okay, another 15 minutes have gone by. Look how fluffy it is here. Give it another stir. While my soap cooks away, I thought I would show you the rest of the ingredients. This is really straightforward. I have a fragrance oil here. I have some red colorant just dispersed in more coconut oil. And then I have my salt here. This is actually sea salt. I love the color of it. Um, it's almost kind of pink, like Himalayan salt, and then I like the darker flecks. 
uh, as well. This is um, the same soap salt that I used in the other soap that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, I'm just kind of using the rest of it today. I do like the sort of instant gratification you get with hot process soap, you know? You push it through all the stages of turning into soap, and then you can use it right away. This one will probably be able to be ready to unmold and cut within probably an hour of putting it in the mold since it's coconut and full of salt, or will be. It's like, in just one morning, you get all this soap that you can use right away. It's time to put this all together, I think. So, soap looks like it's ready. The fragrance. I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt right on top of it. Let's mix this up. This dragon's blood fragrance is just amazing. It's so complex. It's warm. It's a little bit citrusy. I don't know, really, really interesting. It's a blend of a ton of different things. If you haven't tried it, you definitely need to buy some of my dragon soap, which is available at Flamingo Soaps, um, or this one, if it becomes a success, if you think this is going to be a good one, let me know and I'll start creating it in bigger quantities. So good. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball about a third of the soap, put it into this bowl to mix it up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my colorant and just mix it a little bit of a at a time until I get a color that I'm satisfied with. this in. It's already kind of crumbly. Sorry, I totally blocked your view there for a minute. Not much exciting happening. Okay. It's pretty much exactly what I was hoping which is that it would just look like little flecks throughout the soap. I'm gonna spoon this in. A little bit at a time. It kind of looks like meatloaf, which is a little bit gross. I'm going to take some freezer paper and kind of press this in to the mold. One thing I don't like about hot process soap is the way the top of it looks. I much prefer being able to shape the tops with cold process. So what I'm going to do is let this kind of solidify a little bit and then actually slice the top off so you get just a clean cut top. I'd rather have that than this kind of unattractive top. I'm gonna take a thread here and see if I can come through with this soap so I can get a nice top.
That actually worked well. Let's see if I can slide it up. So my soap has been in the fridge for 30 minutes and it already feels very solid. I'm going to remove it from the mold and see how it looks. It's just separating very, very easily from the freezer paper. It's still warm on the edges that were in the mold, but it feels very firm. I don't think I'm going to wait any longer. I think we'll cut it and see. What I remember from my last sea salt soap was that it's very crumbly and I had to cut a good chunk off the edge in order to cut the regular bars. So I think this, this little slab here will only give me maybe five or six bars of soap, but let's see what happens. That was a very satisfying cut. <laughs> it went right through, no crumbling. No problem. I think we're good. Now it's usually warmer on the inside, but we'll go, I'm gonna cut the other side off here. And then we'll know how much we have to work with. Perfect, can you see the top crumbled on that one? That's okay. So my entire storage on my phone just filled up and I didn't realize it. So the whole cutting process wouldn't save. It didn't save and I didn't realize it until it was already done. They cut perfectly. Um, these were only in the mold for 30 minutes and they were just perfect. If I had waited much longer, I don't think they would have cut very well. So I'll just show you guys. Doesn't the color look great? And tilt down a little bit. Check that out. Really happy with how they turned out. Good white color with the streaks of the red throughout. It's not too far blended that the whole thing just looks pink. They all kind of look the same. And I'm happy with the tops, like that flat top rather than the kind of ugly rounded top you get with a lot of times with hot process soap. I like that one. So, that's it guys. That was Dragon's Blood Sea Salt Bar. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, my website's sort of under construction right now as I'm changing my packaging and my labeling. If you are skilled at graphic design, get in touch with me. Uh, send me a message or a comment below. Because as I mentioned, I'm trying to change my logo a little bit and then kind of the whole look of my packaging. So I'm talking to a couple of people about that, but if you've got skills in this department, let me know and maybe we can work together. So until the next time guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, bye.